Back and we're joined by Hamish in Home Design, and we're talking kitchens again. Hamish, love a good kitchen. That's right. Um, we are going to be joining Kristen Reed again as she looks at another sensational kitchen. Brilliant. I know, I know. So let's take a look at the clip. Welcome to Matt and Cheryl's home. They love to entertain. They wanted to be able to see their new kitchen as you walk through the front door to draw their friends and family in. This project was a renovation, not a new build, so they were restricted by existing structural walls to create this new space. The client's initial idea was to have an island running this way, but after meeting with a Mastercraft designer, they've come up with this new layout to create good working zones and create a nice big servery with extra seating for their guests to sit and have a glass of wine while they're preparing dinner. It's really important to create working zones in the kitchen. This kitchen demonstrates this perfectly. We've got food storage here, cook and clean up, and a beautiful servery here. We've got someone sitting here having a glass of wine. Cooking's finished, easy clean up to the sink and putting dishes straight away. We're not doing a million miles to do a simple task like cook dinner and no one's getting in each other's way. The client always wanted a gloss black kitchen. They met with Leon and Emma from Mastercraft Kitchens Kai Tire and they see them in the right direction for the right product for them. They've recommended acrylic doors and panels. This is perfect for this kitchen because we've got electric opening doors and panels and we're constantly touching the fronts. Natural light in this kitchen is minimal, so clever use of LED lights and reflective surfaces is essential in making this kitchen feel light and airy. Key features like mirrored toe kits with LED lights above creates a spacious feeling by making the kitchen appear floating. The gold splashbacks create warmth but also reflect the light back into this kitchen, whereas a matte tile would perhaps absorb the light and break up the space, so this gives it continuity. Also, the perfectly specified gloss black appliances fit in perfectly in order to not break up the space. This project is a renovation, not a new build, so we were confined to work within existing structural walls. It was really important to the client to be able to see the kitchen as you walk through the front door to draw their friends and family in. An absolute beautiful kitchen that is. I really like the black gloss too, something I haven't seen very often. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's an acrylic finish and uh, we love it, of course, because of the fingerprint issues because there are no handles, of course. Everything's pushed open. So it works here. I like the, the black gloss. That's one of those things that's probably going to be a bit polarising for people. Yes, love it or hate it. I think it works great. Love how they've tied in the uh, the appliances with it. So yes. the fridges sort of seamlessly disappear into it. Uh, mirrored toe kicks. Very cool. Yeah, I noticed that because yeah. it gave the illusion that they were floating. Actually. It, it, it yeah. does. And, and you, when, to be honest, when you're in the you kind of can't actually see, t work out what it is that's happening, ah. but it is the mirrored toe kicks that sort of have the seamless finish through. Bench top looked lovely, uh, yeah, the layout was sensational. Yeah, speaking of those bench tops, the work zone, can you mm. re-explain that for me? Okay, well, I mean, work zones are broken down into your areas for your prep um, and, and your cooking and your cleaning up, etc. Um, one of the things I think that's important is when you're dealing with your designer, they can help tailor it to what you want. So. How do you use your kitchen? How does your space work mm. for you? Do you, you need to fit the kids in? Yeah. yeah, do you need to fit the kids in? So have that discussion with the designer and you'll end up with a great result. And uh, something else that was mentioned there, the difference between building new and yep. renovating a kitchen, uh, two completely different approaches. They're completely different. I mean, when you're building something new, you're basically working with a blank canvas, aren't you? A full right. sort of area. When you're renovating, as Kristen quite rightly pointed out, you're going to have to think about existing services, ceiling heights, um, walls that can't be shifted, the load bearing. So that's when a designer can come in and help you get something that's special as opposed to just shoehorned in. Loved it. Love the kitchen. Always a very popular place in the household. And that is why you need to go and see a designer. Thank you so much, Hamish.